guys, so I just want to share something that I just learned really quick with you, and it's considering concerning the verse um, that says that you no, know, God that says that God hated Esau. Um, well, I've read from a couple different sources that it's not talking specifically about Esau himself, but as Edom. Um, you know, Esau represented Edom just as Jacob represented Israel. And basically what it means is that God loves Israel more than any other nation, okay? He loved Esau or Edom less than Jacob. And there's some comparisons in the Bible to show this. Luke 14, 26 says, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Okay? So it says, if you can't hate your father or mother or brother or sister, then you can't be my disciple. Sounds pretty strong. Matthew 10, 17, though, says, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So the idea from these is that you must love God above, above everyone else, okay, above everything else in your life. Uh, God is number one, and so that's that's how it was concerning Jacob and Esau, is that, you know, Jacob and Israel, they were the chosen nation, so God loved them more. It's not that he absolutely despised Esau, you know, Luke 14, 26 isn't saying you must despise your father and mother, you know, don't talk to them, you know, hate them, <laughs> you know, it just says that, it just means that you must love God more, so... People take that out of context a lot, which I have also when it says that God hated Esau. So we need to really understand what that means. It just means that he loved Esau less. And it just means really that Jacob and Israel were, you know, they were the most loved cho chosen nation. So, uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.